going to be dusty. Okay, that's made a hell of a mess so I'm going to open the windows and open the doors, um, sweep up all the floor etc, um, yeah and clean it up, come back to you once I've done all of that. So got the worst of that off, obviously it still goes off into the corner but all we want is a bit around the wheel up so they can weld up and fit to metal rather than to fit, fit to filler. Um, done some cleaning up pretty much how much was you know got off the floor and obviously there's been some in the air blew that out um, got the gauge door open so uh, getting that to calm down a bit and then as soon as that uh, eases off we'll get on back to uh, fitting on the wheel arch um, it does fit quite well all the way around um, I've got rid of some of that um, waviness that was in there got rid of some of that so now we're down to here now obviously the you know as you saw I've just taken out a lot of filler out of here quite thick in places um, so this does you know a little bit of tiny bit of pressure and that does fit in there so when you go to do a cut and butt that would that would fit quite well um, but it is this edge well, this curve at the very end that I've got to work on. Uh, there's a little dent there I managed to put into it. Um, obviously, this end, this edge here needs sorting out. Um, and also, I need to work out whether it goes straight, curves in, curves down, whatever. So the, the only way to do that, really, is, um, or what I'll notice most of all, is when you put the bumper on, the bumper comes out and, uh, get, you know, there's like an opposing curve coming down so the next challenge is to fit the bumper on it's a bit fiddly a um, bit awkward especially with that broken um, adjust it height adjuster so hopefully I can use the old one that I had still hasn't been freed off still you know I keep going it every other day or something still doesn't want to free up um, so I'm going to try and use that one put the bumper back on uh, and see what this edge, you know, because we've done some work here too, see what this edge looks like all the way down and adjust accordingly. Okay, so I've gone around and I put the bumper on. Um, and if you do look here, um, there is this gap at this point, but it's actually the same on the other side, maybe slightly more on this side, but um, the bumper's only held on loosely at the moment. Looking at this from this direction, um, it does seem to go along. If that fits in a bit better, um, it does. You can see the gap, but this obviously can can come up higher. But this does seem to curve. It does curve up. It's slightly at this end, so it does curve up a bit. Um, and if you put a straight edge on it, you'll see that uh, it it definitely curves up. However, if we go around the other side, look at this side. 
you know, which you can tell, you know, if you put the, you know, it, it isn't a straight edge here either. You can see it curves away. Um, and there is, you know, there is a gap between here and here. You know, this bit here. There is a gap there. Um, it is shorter at this side. Um, but we can move it anyway. So there is a little bit of gap there. So the main the main reason for this, putting the bumper back on, was to check that this didn't look too bad. Um, I haven't you know compare it this side. Is to compare it with this side. Now we did some work here, and that does look like um, it actually comes up a bit here. The gap's a bit too big here. Um, even if you give it a little bit there, so. We need a little bit here to prove, you know, maybe just a little bit of filler will do that just to get that gap that correct. Um, and and just a bit here as well, this other end. But then I think we just go, everything down here is fine. We haven't touched that anyway. Um, and then we make that fit in there a little better. And we just check um, that goes in there. The other point to check is how does it go in this direction you know looking down does it once this is in in that point does this come obviously that's currently flaring at the moment but we need to check this edge from you know from the direction we're looking now what does it look like on this side? You know, it does seem to, again, it's not a straight edge. You can see, you know, it's not a straight edge. So it does continue to curve inwards. So we need to make sure that the other side curves inwards and as it curves under, um, it needs to stay, it needs to curve in this direction too. You know, if you look at that, it does curve up. So, uh, yeah, we need to do the same thing on the other side. So we can see, if we push that in there, hopefully you can see, if I push that in there, um, then follow along here we probably you do need a little bit more of a lip on here but that's because I've cut it out because the because this angle's not right so you can see inside um, we need to get a bit closer to to this point here you can see just there we need to get need to get this out here and closer to that so overall this whole piece needs to go in like so so there's sort of like a that, that's sort of closer to what we need okay so I've been playing around with it got a bit got it a bit better here um, that was on there like that and as you can see it's sort of like way off so I've cut that out made up this new piece and the plan now is to weld that into there like so and that gives me a pretty good shape the way around there's still a little bit still a little bit round there to fill in but effectively um, that will give me the shape I'm after I believe the right sort of length um, it's touching behind here and all the way around so that's all good now this does pull out, um, but but it's you know the curve is correct. There's a little bit of weld here that I need to grind off, but effectively, not too bad. A, you know, not reasonably happy about that. Not happy about this indent here, but effectively, we can knock that out once we uh, don't use the the mole grips anymore. So then, um, yeah, that's yeah that's. If I weld that shape on there, 
that should solve the problem for me. Okay, you can see, just about see I welded in a piece here. Still needs a tiny little bit of cleaning up, but effectively we've got that shape. You can just see the inner edge of the, the piece behind. Um, so that's pretty good. We, you know, we'll put a hole in here and then spot weld it in. What we had to do was to cut some strips in here to relieve the stress. You can see that one there is closed in. And so that allowed this to, to sit back flush. Um, so because that sat back, we had to free off uh, any stresses that were in here that were forcing it out. So I, you know, obviously I just need to weld those back up again, but I'll just touch them in first, make sure it fits well uh, or hasn't moved. Um, and then we can uh, fully weld those up. Um, you know, I do weld, you know, I haven't rounded this edge off because I've cut, uh, you know, I've welded on the inside and on the outside. And just ground back to give me that sharp edge at the moment but we'll round it off uh, so now this piece here has to be bent back up and you can see as it follows further back here that needs to go up at this angle um, to, fit in, to fit in a bit nicer obviously we still got some uh, clean up at the back there to do but um, yeah, I'm much happier with this fit now um, yeah, you can see there's definitely this top one has closed up more. Um, so we'll just tack those in and then completely weld them back in again. Yeah, pretty good. Quite happy with that. Would have been a lot easier if it had been made correctly, but that's that's the way uh, replacement panels always are. So uh, lots of cleaning up. Um, so weld these up, bend this up. Clean up bits like this in here and everything internally and then paint it with some black epoxy then we can then we can go and fit this okay this is a product I'm going to use um, it's a uh, rust buster from rust.co.uk two part uh, it's two part mix one to one and thin it with a bit of this um, apply it with a brush uh, so that's what that's what I'm going to use. Hopefully it uh, it comes well recommended, uh, promoted on Trev's blog. So hopefully he knows what he's talking about. His fan looked lovely underneath. So uh, going to use this and uh, apply it with a brush. Just so you can see, um, I did open. The rust buster paint um, and certainly the, uh, the component A has effectively gone off so the lid didn't fit very well um, however excellent customer service I spoke to or I sent an email with the picture um, to these guys and they're shipping me out a replacement same day well it's shipped today and delivered tomorrow so yeah Excellent customer service, you know, these things happen. Um, I just sent them a picture and a brief email. It was uh, about 10, 12 weeks ago that I bought the paint. I only opened it today. And uh, yeah, great service. Um, yeah, things happen. You know, how you react to your customer when things go wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm still, you know, totally uh, happy. Um, obviously, if the one tomorrow turns up and that's rock solid, that'll be a problem, but... So yeah, how you handle issues is what makes a good company. So this is what I'm using. It's a two part um, epoxy. Um, like I say, that part was rock hard, but it's fine. Got a new pot, all good. So let's get on with this.
just to give you a closer view. Uh, like I say, the whole point is to try and get get some paint on the parts that you can't see once the uh, the wheel arch repair panel is in. Okay, just so you can see here, we've uh, we've got the got the rear end up on the axle stands just so that we can we can do this part down here. Once we once we weld that in. Um, it'll be very difficult to get the waste out of that so we have to do a, a butt weld here so we have to cut this out all the way out um, just and, and and get that bit started um, just so that we can do you know we'll do a cut and butt so while this is in place you you know you weld in various places and then cut um, cut a section of it out again and then weld up that but that leaves some waste material in this in this cavity um, but because we can get to the back end over there we can pull out most of this but I think if we look at this um, let's um, let's remove this part here. You know, this, for example there's there is a piece you know, we've got to cut this piece off here and uh, yeah, we've got to cut that piece there and down here out of there and it'll be very difficult to get that out you know back all the way around you know if I cut up here yeah, you can see where we're going to cut up here roughly so we're going to have a thin strip of metal which doesn't go any further than here once we cut all that out it'll still be a complete piece all the way around and because we can get to the back of here easily we can get that out but this piece down here I can't get out so I'm gonna to have to butt weld that so I need to cut you know keep this put this in place mark it cut it then weld it up and work our way around this way um, you know, the, the problem I do have is I need to put sealant in here you know down here is going to be welded up to about here where it starts to go really thin so so from about here onwards, it's just going to have some uh, jointing sealing compound all the way around here, some panel sealant all the way around. Um, so effectively, you have to put that stuff on, then move this in and up, and then effectively don't move it anymore. So that's you know, that. You're effectively going to go like that, put that in there like that, and that's it. Once it's in there. Um, it's done, which means you know, the on and off a few times to get this piece over here in the right place. Um, we have to make sure in that we've got that positioned correctly and well, you know, and before you do the first weld, you get to put that sealant in. So it's sort of like there is a schedule, a scheduled way to do this. So that's what I'm going to do. We are pretty much there, ready for that process. Um, but like I say, I had to lower the car down, so I actually had some workspace in here, um, so that I can cut, you know, prepare that end correctly. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Going to prepare that end, go from there. Once once we've got this ready to to butt weld in place, um, I have put in a few cuts here to relieve any stress, so that you uh, know. In a, in a similar way to what I did over at this side um, just to release any pressure where it's trying to twist um, so that this welds here nicely too. I think it might be easier to cut down there. What are we going to do?
So we've prepped this side, we sprayed in here with um, weld through primer, same in here, put some holes to do some plug welds, uh, still need to clean those up a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can get that on there next. Okay, so we've got a bit here, but we're actually, this lip is deeper than it should be, so we have to grind that back a bit more. Um, so yeah, we've welded that piece in there. This is what it looks like from the other side. Um, like I say, we're at that right hand edge down here. We'll uh, straighten it out a bit because it's too big at the moment, but um, that's it. That's that piece welded in. The rest of it will be cut and butt and uh, Yeah, such fun. Okay, so we're pretty, pretty much ready to rock and roll with this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sealant in on this part on the new panel rather than on this edge here. Gee, maybe I'll do it that way now. It doesn't really matter. Sorry about that.
That's it, obviously I'm not going to walk away from the car as I've just finished welding. Repairing the uh, the whole the bits that I've missed and then I will need to go and get some gas. Well, as you can see from the uh, the line coming from the garage door, that is the mess from the grinding and the welding. Um, we do have sort of like the finished, well, not the finished, but almost finished article. Don't know quite why that's doing that. Okay, but. Uh, yeah, we do have it ground down at least, and uh, yeah, certainly something to work from, but I am pretty much out of gas now, so uh, as you can see, almost out of gas. That's it for this video, see you in the next one, cheers, bye.